Hello, I am Bhaskar Bhatt. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, some of the measures uh, preserving climate change impacts in Surat as a part of an online course from Climate Science to Action uh, run by the World Bank of May, June 2017. Uh, the Surat city is uh, located on the west coast of India in the region of Gujarat state. Uh, it is one of the oldest municipality and having 326 square kilometers of area housing about 4.5 million persons. Uh, if we see the uh, extent of the natural growth, this is uh, an image of Google Earth in the month of December 1984, where in the city has an extent of spatial expansion uh, like this. And we had the same image for the year 2014, you can see the extent of growth in here. So, a uh, spatial analysis uh, was performed and the extent was identified. If we see the built up area volume here of about from 17%, it jumped to about 33% in the year of uh, 2011 with a merely two decades of uh, spatial duration. So, all this. Uh, uh, expansion of urban area has uh, uh, resulted in the effects uh, uh, on the uh, exponential population uh, growth. Uh, here uh, we had faced a uh, very crucial and devastating condition of flood uh, back in 2006. You can see all the urban areas flooded uh, by the uh, overflanking of river Tapi. Simultaneously, we have been facing uh, the temperature rise in the months of uh, March and April and May. The average is, as we, we can say, around 37 to 39 degrees centigrade, but the highest heat goes up to 43, 44 degrees centigrade in, in a year. And every year, this uh, highest temperature has been uh, rising a lot. With the, the effects of all these things, uh, it has been observed that an, an, on an average of about 1,200 persons per year are uh, dying due to different unnatural causes. So it all uh, leads to certain about the uh, climate related challenges that knowingly or unknowingly uh, with a very slow, very, very small extent, the climate change impacts are uh, being observed and uh, we must act now, we must act uh, all together. Uh, if I would be a policy maker, I would have proposed for a mass uh, usage of mass transportation system with reduction of uh, fossil fuel based uh, vehicles, of course the reduction in use of paper and electricity uh, would I have been proposed. Uh, as a part of general public, I, I, I could avoid the use of my personal vehicles wherever I can and uh, similar uh, measures I could have been taken. As far as the government is concerned, the major, uh, one of the major uh, <coughs> problem or challenge if we see that the dissemination of information, awareness about the climate change and its relative impacts that are taking place slowly but steadily. Uh, the people are not aware, my citizens are not aware. So I must uh, disseminate this information among them by different means like uh, spreading SMS and creating mobile apps, uh, advertisement campaigns, uh, the campaigns through television, uh, newspaper leaflets, uh, holdings and so on. So that way uh, certain action could be taken place and as such, this problem is all of us. Uh, we all must uh, act simultaneously all together, and otherwise, uh, it is very much difficult to confront uh, the issue related to climate change that is uh, taking place right now. Uh, that was all from my side. Thank you. Thank you very much.